guys. hopefully you can hear me. we're having really, really bad um storms here in virginia right now. that's why my hair looks like a hot mess. i um actually got trapped at walmart buying a few groceries and it just started lightning. it looked like the lightning was really close and they actually wouldn't let any of us go outside because they were afraid um like the glass from the doors would shatter. i don't exactly know anyway it was pretty scary but i have something for you i wanted to let you know that just because rochelle and i have been doing a lot of non-beauty videos lately we still are going to continue to do those part of the problem is that nothing has really come out this summer that we've been excited about or that's been worth purchasing rochelle just recently subscribed to glossy box and to birch box and we'll be getting um, those soon. Maybe I can talk her into doing a video review. And for me, my usual places like MAC and Bath and Body Works um, really haven't come out with anything I've been excited about. Fall is my favorite time of year, and so hopefully um, I'll have a lot more to show you. I love fall, and some of my favorite videos that YouTubers do are their seasonal videos. And so I'm really excited about seeing what people put out about fall and about Halloween. I'm really excited to do um, Bethany or Mac Barbie 07's fall favorites video. Or fall loves tag, I mean. But anyway, today I went to Bath and Body Works and I haven't bought anything in there forever. To be honest with you, I was a little underwhelmed by the Paris scents. I feel like they were pretty dupable. I've been enjoying watching people's candle videos. My stores do not have the candles out yet. And I'm kind of waiting to smell them in person before I jump the gun and spend money on them. But what I did get are the new um, Fresh Pick scents. And I did not get the soaps yet. I wanted to, I use a lot of pocket bags. I'm a preschool teacher. I teach the a five, four and five year olds class. And um, it's very, very hands on. And school is getting ready to start. So I'm trying to restock back up on pocket bags. They're not doing the back to school pocket bags that I know of this year, but I do have a little bit of um, fall and Halloween information to share with you today. The first one is the fresh picked blackberries. And this isn't as fall as packaging maybe as I would have liked for it to be, but it's very, um, it reminds me of those, I guess maybe the weekly reader that the preschool kids get the photographs from that. But this one is fresh picked blackberries. And I love blackberries, so I was really excited. And I'm smelling these for the first time with you guys. There's some thunder. And you can hear the wind. It's, that's that kind of humming sound in the background. It's, this smells really good. It smells very natural and not as much um, like a fabricated or factory made scent. It smells definitely of blackberry and it um, it just kind of smells to me like crushed up blackberries actually. There's not a whole lot to say about it. My eyes look like one is way bigger than the other. I think it's the one I'm holding the camera. Sorry, I just noticed. And it actually has a teeny tiny hit. It's very natural smelling, I think. It definitely smells like someone just took a bunch of blackberries and squished them up. Or like blackberry jam. It's a little more of a tart than a sweet smell, which I like. And I noticed, I did use this one in the car, actually, when I left the mall. And it does, to me at least, have like a teeny, teeny, tiny floral after smell on your hands. But it's not a floral by any means. And it's not something that's going to bother you or that you'll hate if you're not a floral person. So don't, don't worry about that. It's very natural, clean, nice smelling. And I actually got two. I did the five for five today. I didn't spend a whole lot. I'm kind of holding out for the fall and Halloween stuff. The next one is the fresh picked pomegranates. And there's the packaging. Am I saying that right? Pomegranates? I've never really been a huge like pomegranate fan, so I don't know much about them. But this one smells really good. This one smells, I am assuming like pomegranates, but I've never smelled one, so I don't know. But it kind of reminds me of like a sweeter cranberry juice, maybe. It kind of smells like Ocean Spray cranberry juice to me. Only it's less sweet than the um, Eat Ham pocket back that came back in the fall. But I really like this one. It actually smells to me like really good, um, like a berry shampoo. So I like that. And then I got the um, fresh picked apple, which makes me happy because it reminds me of fall time. Fall is my favorite. So I, I, this time every year I'm done with summer ready for fall to start. And this one, to be honest with you, is a little womp womp. And it's good. If you like apple, it definitely has more of like a fresh apple smell than some of the last few they've put out that smell more kind of like candied, I guess. 
but it sort of smells like your run of the mill Bath and Body Works apple scent. But if you like that, then I would definitely recommend that one. And then the last one I got, uh, I'm trying to shake it so it wouldn't explode when I opened it, is the peach one. And this one, I'm not sure what to think about the peach, to be honest with you. There's definitely like a peach, or excuse me, not peach, I'm correct. Um, apricot smell or apricot, it depends on where you're from. Um, it, to me, it does smell like apricots, but I almost feel like this one has kind of like a floral smell to it. If you guys get this, let me know if you feel like this one has kind of a floral smell. It definitely smells like apricots, but it smells like they're mixed with some flowery scent. Not exactly what I expected, but good nonetheless. Next thing I want to tell you about is um, I did get a little bit of information about some of the stuff that's coming out. The Halloween collection will be much smaller this year. I, uh, I know that there's another one of those light-up soaps that's sort of like a green circle shape and has a black cat on it. And again, don't hold me to it because you know how at Bath & Body Works things are constantly changing. And then the pocket backs will be very similar to last year, except there were two that I hadn't seen. There was a yellow one called Bat Bite and a pink one called um, Ghoul Friend. They were really cute. But from what I could tell, the pocket back scents, everything was the same, like the candy corn and the zombie marshmallow one that everyone loves, and um, the pumpkin, et cetera, et cetera. And then there are three lip glosses, one with a candy scent, I'm not sure what that is, and then the two Good Witch, Bad Witch lip glosses. So I'm excited to see the fall stuff coming out. I really want the roasted pumpkin carvings candles. If you guys know when that's coming out or know any information about that, let me know in below. And then we will continue to do beauty videos. We're kind of waiting until the fall time when stuff comes out that we actually want to buy. Because some beauty people are sponsored, you know, and get a lot of free stuff to review. And while that would be awesome, we're not. <laughs> we buy all of our own stuff. Like I said, I'm a teacher. Rochelle's a counselor. So it all comes out of pocket. And we're really just waiting for some things that are worth spending money to us. So, um... I hope you're having a good day. Stay safe in all this bad weather. And hopefully I will talk to you very, very soon. And thanks for all your wonderful comments on our non-beauty videos. You guys are cracking us up with some of your relationship stories and um, crushes and all that good stuff. So see you later. Bye.